But yeah, so uh, BT now said Fat Joe's going to uh, um, host, host. Hip Hop Awards mm-hmm. and biggest troll job of the year. So do far. you think it was connected to that or? Hell yes. Or he pulled the string and said, "Let me show y'all." No, no, no. no, no, no. I got clout. And whether you think I'm hip hop or not, no, I think people saw because like like this Fat Joe like right now does Fat Joe have like anything going on like he doesn't have an album out. No, no. Right, he's his podcast. When the last time we heard something from his podcast, yeah, yeah. He doesn't have any music. The only thing we know of him right now is from the hip hop and Puerto Rican did it fifty fifty and the the, the world when that's caused online, right? Yeah. So. Him, them asking him to do it, troll. They, they, they're trying to piss off black people. They're trying to get people to watch to see if he'll, like, acknowledge, you know, the, the true founders or something like that. Uh, they, they they might even get Busta Rhymes up there. Yeah, then it'll really get yeah, weird. Yeah, to, to piss people off. You know what I mean? Like, then it really get weird. It's like they're riding the wave yeah. of, of, of the of so-called uh, negative energy. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. What did y'all think about that? I, I want. I, want, I, want I mean, to... again, I told you I won't speak on mm-hmm. certain things no more because it's, it's just draining. But for the sake of just him being on BT, I have no problem with it. He is hip hop. We then said this show is not called the Pioneers of Hip Hop. BET presents the Pioneers. <laughs> you know, then that would be like, okay, no, it's Hip Hop Awards. He's hip hop. So is Busta Rhymes. So is so. You know, in that sense, yeah. you know. You, you know what? I feel like we have to always clear up, right? I don't know how it is in other states <clears throat> and other cities, but here in New York City, we live in very close proximity with Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, and we do, this is what we do. I don't know if this is uh, politically correct or not. If you talk, if you speak Spanish, we call you Spanish. We don't call you Hispanic. Yeah. We yeah. don't care if Spain is in Europe. Yeah. Like Spain is white people. We just call you Spanish. Facts. Right, and it's not abnormal to to for us to live in the same building right next door to each other, yeah. go to school. So I don't know how separated other states and cities are when it comes to their black and Hispanic. Uh, but that things. that's a critical component. It is a cri- when it comes to perception, right? So right when people right. think of it, because I've been I've I've been seeing a lot of now New York got to take this L for letting so and so talk like that. I'm like yo that. We go, we in the same class. We date the same girls. We this is <laughs> yes. like it just is what it is. And, and it's hard to explain unless you lived it. Yeah. So ma- uh, majority of my friends were black, but we had many many Spanish friends who we went. And when I tell you we went to war with, you get what I'm saying? My man Carlos and them, we went to war with dudes. So our upbringing, you know, maybe in the West, you know, they they grew up because that's the Mexican crowd. We had Puerto Ricans. This is even before the Dominicans showed up. It was Puerto Ricans. They lived right next door. We dated each other's girls. I went over and had papoyo with my man's house. They came over, had soul food. We told black jokes. We, we told Spanish jokes. We did all of that, but it was just what it was. You know what I mean? So I can only speak from a New York perspective, and I can respect if the situation was different in... LA or Chicago because they clustered a little different. I get all of that. So don't at me when I just don't understand. There was never a Latino war. You know, we they had their gangs and we had ours, but we were so close to each other that it didn't make sense for us to fight each other. And, and, it was weird. And it was weird. N- not to say that there aren't Hispanic people that are racist, right? We saw... During the, I, I spoke about it during the 2020 protests and in Washington Heights. Washington those, Heights. those were the Dominicans. Yeah, yeah. But you, you get what I'm saying? Like, it, there is stuff there and it always will be. No humans are all going to get along. But I'm just right. talking about the way people see New York and, they, and they're not from here. They go, like, it's, it's a different, just like the culture when I go to LA is different. You know what blocks you can go down. I can't wear a Yankee hat. Over I can't there. wear like, a Yankee. You know what I'm saying? So you, you, the culture is just different. That's all. And we have to take all of these things in perspective when you start this drawing a, a, a broad brush and saying it's us against them. You know, it, it, there are fine lines which things seep through. And because when I tell you certain Puerto Rican people have my back, I'm talking about we out here warring. Your niggas is dying. 
You know what I mean? Some of the stories I got to take to my grave. You know what I mean? And these were my Spanish brothers. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and you know, shit like that. So it's a whole different perspective. In fact, Joe, Joe grew up in that environment. So it's in the project, forest, from forest, forest, forest yeah, projects. On, so if you know where that's from, yeah. the word nigga was not a black thing. It was, yo, what up, nigga? You know what I'm saying? It just was Man. what it was. Yeah. And it sounds, and that's that sounds not to, crazy. Yeah, and not to defend. Fa- yeah, I, I'm yeah, just, yeah, I'm trying to crazy. put you up on game. Yeah. Like when my LA brothers teach me about the gang shit, I listen. Because from my perspective, as Tim Dog said, fighting over colors, all that gang shit's for dumb motherfuckers. And that was how I was born. Y'all niggas is fighting over colors. And then you realize it's not. Then I realized it wasn't colors. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it's a lot intricate, a lot more deeper. And you know, now we have it everywhere or variations yeah. of it everywhere. But initially in 1989, when I first was being introduced to this by Ice-T and yeah. Colors, yeah. Colors, and N.W.A. and this and that, none of that shit made any sense to me because... On our side, we wasn't fighting over car. We had the, we had the Zulu Nation, we had the Ball Busters, we had the Savage Nomads. You know, we had uh, uh, the Decepticons. That's a tough name. You know what I'm saying? Like, the Decepticons. You know what I mean? So you had yeah. so many, you know, different groups, and you know, we 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 guarded our territory. We knuckled up. We did all of that, but it was never over. Yo, you can't wear that color down this block. That just didn't make sense, but now I get it when I understand. So, just trying to give you perspective. That's important. That that's very important listen, to just kind of. I told you perspective like, ah, okay. is my superpower. You gotta see it from other people's perspective to get a greater understanding. Stop looking at it from your standpoint. Stop feeding into somebody's narrative and ah, eh. no, you gotta put yourself in those environments to even understand. What that's all about. Black mass, man, it's time to rock. I had to find a way I couldn't find it. Hey, what's up? If you like what you just saw and you want to see the full, uncut, raw, uncensored podcast, hit the link below. It's only $5 a month or $50 for the entire year. Get all of the content. Get Black Diet in his rawest form. Get a bunch of exclusive content yes. never before seen by anybody else. And you can only be a member to see it. Become a member now. Click the link below.